So you, you said pre, uh, before mm. that we should save on all the money that we earn. Yes. Now, there is this car money <laughs> that uh, daddy gives me. He, I, me. Me, I like that money. I'm working, I can afford my lifestyle. Yeah. And I save. I'm very, like you, very passionate about saving. I'm always saving. Mm. But I have a problem with that money they put on the table. Mm. Originally, that money, at least in my culture, it was meant... So they, they'll give you money to, to support the home, to, yeah. you know, to, to support really the household. Mm. But there is always extra for you, mm. the mom, the, 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 ma, yeah, the mchala yeah. of the house, to, to, to knitten yourself up, <laughs> be smart, be your casaloon. Yeah. Now for me, I never that money. You spend I've it. never saved even a <laughs> coin. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up and I sit there and there's even a note of even Nagi, yeah, have a nice day. You know everything, every coin, every coin I go, go. Yeah, yeah. Even if I was not ready to buy that weave, I would buy it. So come as a money. Is it possible? Of course it's possible to use it for what it was originally meant for. But what, what does that look like? Like what, what would you say someone would do with that? Because now me, I'm saving on my earnings. I'm already yes. feeling a pinch there. So why can't I enjoy what the left hand is giving me? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a very good question. And uh, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to answer it in two perspectives. The first one, from your angle, whereby you have other sources of income, where you are already saving. We have just previously talked about oversaving you should never compromise on saving. As long as you have extra money. It means, since that one is even complimentary, you should be saving 90% of it. Pumla, oh. let me tell you, there is a place I taught people, yeah, who entirely depends on Kamiza money. And the lady was like, Madam, me, I have no source of income. How can you tell me to, to save? Yet my only source of income is Kamiza money. So I'm like, so how much is it? She's like, ah, every day they leave me 10,000 shillings. I told her, you do the math. What's 10,000 times 30 days? Mm, so her salary is 300,000. It's 300,000. Okay. That's where the training ended. Because she was like, madam, what you mean I earn 300,000 <laughs> in a month? She had actually not Never taken <laughs> time to sit down and actually see how much she is actually getting in what? In her life. Now, the, the lesson stopped there because she now made the deliberate effort to save yes. on that 300,000. Yes. So normally what we are teaching ladies is save at least 10%. Mm. That is the money mm. that you can even put there and forget about it. Mm. Forget about it. Keep it. Yes. We want Ugandans, we want people to learn how to have money. And you're calm and collected. You know Africans when they get money, he can't settle. He's like, and eh. again, they left Kameza money. Now what should I buy? This that? No. Mojito. Learn how to have money <laughs> and be relaxed. People eh? and here money and be sometimes. No more. Eh? Mojitos. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then after you have grown that saving to a, a certain level. Depending, uh, everyone has their formula. I don't want to give, you know, some trainers give uh, percentages, this, that. No, me, I believe everyone should get a formula that works for, for them. them. And as you grow in that formula, you can reach the maximum at which you can save or not. Okay. So now, back to Kameza money. You can start at 10%. That this money is for buying. The typical Kameza money is actually for maintaining the home. Yes. If you look at Ugandans, our fellow Ugandans, down in Kampala, yes. not you guys who are up here, uptown, yeah. and Kampala uptown, <laughs> deep, deep down. Yes. <laughs> that to Kameza money is for maintaining the home, buy some food, make sure supper is, uh, you know, catered for, uh, tomatoes, etc. Now this particular lady realized that, but you know what, I can save on the tomatoes that I buy every week, I can save on the, on the onions, so that okay. I save yes, yes, some yes. more. And as she gets this culture of saving, mm. she is actually putting aside money that has enabled her to start the side business we are yes. talking about. Yes. Mothers can no longer depend on one income. Mm. You need to use what you have to be a stepping stone to what else you want in your life. Okay. So if what you have is Kameza money, mm. use it to yeah. be your stepping stone to the next. Okay. If you have other sources of income plus Kameza money, 
save some more. You know this year I have this so thing. Is an opportunity Everywhere to I go, more. save some mm -hmm. more. Wow. Never hold on the discipline of saving. Okay, madam. Hey. <laughs> enjoy life. I'm enjoy bad. life with restraint. I'm eh? bad. So that you can enjoy a little more in yes. future. Okay. Mm. Wow. Um, yes. So Tilda, mm. there seems to be a side hustle bug mm. going around. Everyone yes. seems to want to have a, a, a side business and you've been talking about it, having mm. the extra uh, income stream. Mm. And I know that many moms, for those maybe who just depend on Kameza money, are like, hey, but what can I do in 300,000? Mm. First of all, the money has been set aside for home. Yes. If I'm saving, what business can I start with? Even like at 100K or 200K. How should moms go about deciding what side hustle they should go to? And then I mm. guess the saving uh, strategy towards okay. side hustle. Okay, I'm going to start by quoting the Bible. Hello. Okay. Mm. For those listening, I'm not good at verses. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, I know the part. content. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh. the issue with the side hustle, I touched about it mm. earlier, that God created all of you with different That's capabilities. Mm. Don't lose sight of what God gave you. Mm. Because however much you do what Pumla does, you when God didn't give you that skill, it's hard. Yeah. Yes, you can attain what she has, but it will be too hard. Mm. So start with what you have. Always start with what you have. Mm. Now you've seen mothers who are at home, they are stay-home moms. She's always cooking for the kids, this, that, that. Mm. And then she realizes, I have a skill with cooking. cooking yeah. Then she starts preparing lunches and distributing in offices. Mm. That's how you get your side hustle. If let me say one day you have a party, you bake a cake, and everyone is like, my goodness, that's the best cake I have eaten. Mm. They are just telling you, why don't you do more of this? Yeah. If you go somewhere, I, I kind of believe that in everything you are good at, you mm. can succeed. Yeah. So I'm not this kind of advisor who will tell you, start this business, do that one, it has money, this mm. one has income. No. I'm not that kind of person because I know you can come up with something totally different, different from yeah. what everyone else does. Mm. So figure that out. What mm. are you good at? Mm. If it's singing, you're one of the best people in the choir. Hello. How can you <laughs> how can you push that? How can you use that to push you in mm. the right direction? Mm. You have seen most of these artists being interviewed. The guy tells you, me via books, things oh, fail. Yeah. But when I stand on stage yeah. and sing, yeah. I can get the crowd, the crowd hyper. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Do that if that's what God blessed you to do. So take some time off to understand yourself. Mm. You know, we waste a lot of money putting money in businesses yeah. just to make money. money. Yeah. It's not the aim of doing things. You do things because you love them. Yeah. You're passionate about them. Most guys think that, ah, these people who tell us about passion, passion. yet passion doesn't pay money. Passion. It pays. Oh, yeah. It always yeah. pays. Like, if I ask someone, okay, I, I like using Asia as an example because mm. what she does is physical. Eh? Yes. You can see it, yes. you can view it. If you're decorating a place and you look at a whole laid out, mm. what do you feel? in your heart mm -hmm. you know now i'm asking the questions uh -huh. yeah. what, do you, <laughs> what do you what do you feel, feel? after feel looking happy. at yeah. the whole laid out yeah. everything yeah. is done on all on your way. hassle of spending the whole night decorating is finished what do you feel satisfaction mm -hmm. wow. yeah. fulfillment sure. fulfillment it's, it's more than even the money that you yeah. make sure. now you need to feel that yeah. for whatever you are doing now that is how you determine your side hustle. Now the other part of the Bible that I wanted to emphasize, <laughs> those who, who know the verses will help, but there is a part <laughs> that tells us <laughs> about seven income streams. Seven income streams, minimum. You need to have various sources of income. You are in a I, I don't like calling this country a poor country. Uh, let's just say it's developing. We are in a developing country. You can hardly make it with that one income. Whether you have the best job, whether you have that one income may not be able to sustain you. So you always need to seek out for what you're good at and it will be the stepping stone to the other sources of income. Yeah. That's why like, for example, if I use myself as an example, I train people in Money Matters. 
but I also want to be in all social places yeah. because Ugandans prefer social things than yeah. our financial things. Yeah. Yeah, but see. now if you incorporate this message in bridal social. showers, I'm there. I will yes. talk to you uh, when you're getting married and what? We talk about money. Yeah. And oh, guys have fun, yes. much as they are in this kind of arrangement. Yeah. I'm here at Bump Love. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I know, uh, we shall talk about the, the money That's later, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're doing what you love, because yeah. I love talking about money, I love seeing people transform their lives as, they, as we talk about this subject matter, so you're in this platform with them. You're called upon to talk at international events, national events and things of that sort, schools, where, wherever, but all those create what you're doing now what you're passionate about creates the other sources of income that you will get so try to be more aware about yourself if you have not discovered it relax you know in money there is no rushing relax you save you just say you're saving for emergencies save 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 at the day you will get that thing that saving you have will be the first money you put into your business so just save don't rush, don't copy anyone, don't feel left out, don't feel like you're insufficient. Well, no, it is okay. Let them do. <laughs> you will also do. <laughs> yes, when your time is right. And when it is right, you will know. And you will have the, 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 the source of income to start with. Because you have been saving all these years. So save, save, save. You people, I can't emphasize saving save enough because you're going to transform your lives. Yeah. From that money you're calling little money, yeah. you are going to transform your lives. Yeah. So stop waiting for government. Even God told us he helps those who help themselves. Oh, so do something so that you can get more. Yeah. So you may know a few things here and there, but you need to grow your mind. You need to grow your mind in that line of aspiration you have. Yeah. Be a pro at it, understand it, yeah. speak to the experts mm -hmm. at it so that they also share with you their experience yeah. and start small. Start humble. You yeah. first serve. Eh? Yeah. Like me now, when we're working in the central bank, you are serving. You are serving to know how processes are being done, how this and yeah. that should be done. How the, so that by the time you stand up and say, I want to maybe start a financial institution, yeah. you have everything on your fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. Now, youth these days just wake up and say, ha, microfinance has money. Yeah. Let us start a micro... Yeah. How? Yeah. When you have not no taken... That, that, you've yeah. not done research. Yeah. You've not, so take time, grow your mind, get the experience, and in the right time, you will know and you will be yeah. ready. Yeah. So stop embarrassing yourselves, <laughs> you. Uh, relax, uh, do your part, calm down, calm down. <laughs> you will get there. Eh? Yeah, but it takes time. Yeah. Wow. Be patient. Ah, yeah. Thank you so much, Tilda. Mm. Uh, before we wrap this up, Tilda wants to take us through a commitment yes. for Bump Love. Mm. Um, We'll have maybe somebody pass us the what? Uh, we can get an eggy bank, an eggy bank, the, uh, a pink eggy bank. <laughs> now this is one of the products that uh, we have mm -hmm. at uh, Be Money Wiser, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you can call it a, a side hustle, if yeah. that's easy to understand. <laughs> but it is something I'm passionate about that I believe in and I have run for over the past 10 years to try to empower people online about financial matters and uh, to see that it can stand the, the test of time for guys to grow in the process such that they can enjoy the fruits of uh, the hard work. Yeah. So this is an eggy bank. The commitment from us, okay, you, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm representing the fifth person. Yeah. The commitment is I'm challenging you guys to save 20,000 shillings. Mm. 20. A week. Not 50. Mm. 20. A week. Relax. Yeah, <laughs> relax. <laughs> <guys. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so, you're know. saving 20,000 shillings mm. per week per person. Yeah. Okay. For only six months. Ah. Mm? Now, you're going to use this. It's called an eggy, eggy bank. bank. The eggy first bank. time I'm hearing about I've known piggy banks. Piggy I didn't hey, know this bank. is a new one. It's yeah. only in Uganda. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
So for the people who, who know by Uganda build Uganda, yeah. this is it. Yeah. Now this is an eggy bank. Yeah. Uh, you can just put in your money. It's like mm. a savings box, like how mm. you'd use a savings yeah. box, mm. except it's cuter, pink, nice, it's for the <laughs> ladies. Yeah. yeah. Now you you put twenty thousand per week. Mm. The person who will keep this um, um, among you mm. will keep it for a month. Okay. You keep for a month, remind your friends every week they put. Mm. After the month ends, you give her. Mm. After that one, you give her until six months are done, it yeah. will come back yeah. hmm, to the first person who has mm. kept it. 20, 20, 20, 20. Mm. The key task is that you have a plan, yeah. come up with a plan. We can write it here on a marker. Mm. All of you sign on here mm -hmm. to commit. And then after six months, I would like to come back. You see, now I'm securing my position yeah. to come back here. Yes. <laughs> to come back here after yeah. six months. Uh -huh. And we open this yes. and we show mothers we out it. there mm. that we are going to hatch our savings out of this mm. and make something bigger and better for wow. Bump Love. Wow. So figure that out. Uh. On the next show, we shall tell people what this was about and what came out six months from uh, now. Yeah. So are we committing to yeah. saving 20,000 only I per think, person I think per week? Let's try to do that mathematics. Mm. 20 uh -huh. by we are five. Yeah. You're five. That's 100,000 mm -hmm. a week. A week. Mm. So on average, four mm. weeks. 400. That's 400,000 mm -hmm. by six months. That's uh -huh. 2.4 million. 2.4 million. million. Uh -huh. You see, she's already you. excited. <laughs> we need I to commit. commit. Yes. <laughs> I'm committing as uh, well, yes. Uh -huh. You have committed. Well, yes. Now, just for you ladies, mm. Huh? Mm. because you have committed, mm. 2.4 is not a round figure. Mm. We shall top up for you so that it becomes 2.5. At the end of that period. So be for the first be manual I get to top. <laughs> so that uh, we can show mothers out there that if yes. you make a deliberate effort you can achieve this. Yeah. But we shall carry on with this discussion. After yes. you have achieved this commitment. this commitment. So who do I hand this over? Who is uh, holding it first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, we are guys. definitely going mm. to talk about what mm. we are saving for yes. uh, with yes. when Manuela gets back. Yes. And uh, we look forward to that show. Mm. May God help us keep the commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you mm. so much, Tilda. This has been very, very helpful information. And money and personal finance management is not a new mm. subject. But like every time you hear it, you're like, mm, maybe I should save some more. Like it, it's sort of something always clicks. Yes, yes, and lights a fire inside of you. So I hope you have learned. If you have any question to ask about managing money, budgeting, we didn't even talk about planning for retirement, but I guess that falls under saving. Uh, uh, possibly. If you back, do all this uh, correctly, mm, retirement will be automatic. There you go. Thank you very much for this information. If you have mm. questions, please do post them in our comment section. Uh, Tilda will be happy to answer them. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to having her back on the show with mm. our egg we'll be hatching it <laughs> with our eggy bag yes. um remember of course if you have saved money that means you can afford family brunch at the Kampala serena hotel yes. uh, please do come by they host one every sunday starting 12 p.m at 110,000 shillings for adults and 65,000 shillings for children that's from the ages of 5 to 12. So at 13, please, you are not a child. <laughs> you are a teenager. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, with love from Bamblak. <laughs>